Hello, Internet Sister Root. This stopped working when I was recording something. I went on a short ride, it turned off. I don't know why, I turned it back on, it then shut off again. I tapped it to the side of my hand because, yes, I went over a bumpy area. Then it worked fine for like maybe five or ten minutes. Then uh, it froze. So I pulled the battery out because I couldn't power it off. And then I turned it back on, which I'm trying to do now, which I've been trying to do for the past hour or two. Or six hours, actually. I did open it up. There was epoxy everywhere inside of it. I had to use a flashlight to see through the epoxy. Thankfully, it's clear, and uh, the ribbon cable came undone when I went through the bumpy area. That's why it froze. And uh, I couldn't get that plugged back in because it was torn. And I don't know why that happened. This thing will not power on. I even put a battery in it. It still won't power on. So, take the battery out get the fucking cover off it and I have video that's there's a result of what happened it didn't record shit I can't even get this off why do you have to use a screwdriver to get this open I'm gonna try with a paper clip there now I got it open gotta use a paper clip just to get this open the ridiculous ways they use these clips now I'll put the battery back take it out first Put it back in. Lights up, but nothing. Nothing on the screen. This shows it's actually on too. Nothing. Pressing it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So it stopped working. That's all it does. It just lights up and freezes. Another way to turn it off is to actually pull the battery out. It's off now. So I just pulled the battery off. I don't know why this part of the camera is blurry, but nothing I can do. Fucking screensaver. So, uh, yeah. It's broken. It corrupted what was on the memory card, but after formatting, I had gave it a second go. There wasn't no garbage files on it. And uh, you want to see the files. You'll see them right here. Let's, uh, let's just stretch the scoops. I didn't mean to do that. Let's just uh, stretch the screen and reduce the camera to the corner. Are you kidding me? Camera, reduce the camera to the corner. There we are. Okay, let's see the files on the screen. These are the files. I'll put them in thumbnail mode. That's what they look like. You see these here? These are what you're seeing. This is the actual video. I'll open one of them up. That's it. Open the other one up. The other ones are very tiny. That's it. That's all it recorded. That's why nothing was going on. I was trying to figure out why the video was all corrupted and shit. This one just won't play at all. And in fact, it's... It almost crashed everything. It's the second time I ran it without it, and it didn't crash this time. Nice. Yeah, so... Nothing. It's... it's bu bullshit. And this is zero bytes, you can see. It's corrupted. This thing doesn't even function. It records for a short period of time. That's the max I was able to get out of it, and then it shuts off. And this was only after doing that video a few days ago. What the fuck? Anyways, now you s there you go. You saw the proof. Something horribly wrong with that thing. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I don't know why. It just stopped working. Yes, the ribbon cables came undone when I went over that bumpy surface. But is that really supposed to happen when it's in a protective case? This case? It's open, yes. The camera was in there. But is it supposed to do that? When it's inside the case? No. It's supposed to protect it and keep everything together. 
there's no way of possibly mounting this thing. There's no mounting holes without using a case, which includes a mounting accessory clip and everything. I even used my other case that I modified to run it off a power bank, which is a. Uh, threw it over here. Fucking packaging. Ah, there's the case. That's the one modified to take a power bank, and that's a snug fit. That's a really snug fit, so no water can get in there. Period. Although part of the material is flaking off somehow, but the thinnest will, the thickest won't. No water can get in there when that's closed. So that's a good thing. And not even when the cable's plugged in, so beautiful. Took a while to modify that. So, yeah. That's the other part of the packaging. I'm holding on to it until uh, eBay, you know, gets a hold of that and does what they got to do. So, what can I do, right? In the packaging fill, yet again. Regardless, it's going to sit on my shelf. I will repackage it if I have to and just, uh, you know, if I can return it, return it. If they don't accept returns, that's fine. They got to just refund the money. Now, if they don't do either, eBay will step in and I will get my money back. Anyways, that's about all. Sorry to see the disappointment. Careful what you purchase on eBay. You got to make sure you leave feedback after you've tested it to make sure it's not just going to stop working or fall apart or you know the rest. Anyways, that's about all. Thanks for watching.